Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your likes your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Aries this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of November 28th through December 4th this is for Aries Sun Aries Moon and Aries rising signs All right, very interesting spread, Aries. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups can represent, uh, this can sometimes be an offer that's coming in. This could be an offer coming in for some of you, but maybe you're brushing it off. Maybe it's something that you know you, you think you're not interested in. Uh, for some of you, you need to take a second look at that offer. It very well could be something that uh, truly is a blessing that's coming in. For some other Aries, the Four of Cups can certainly represent um, you feeling bored, emotionally bored, flat. It can sometimes represent loneliness. It can also represent, for some of you, you waiting on an offer or something that you're tied to emotionally, waiting on this offer, this information to come through. Um, but I do, I do get that for some of you, it's an offer that's coming in and maybe, you know, you're brushing it off right away or maybe some of you, you need to think about it because the overall energy is, is the seven of cups. So I definitely see some, some Aries having multiple options, multiple offers on the table for some of you. Definitely needing to narrow it down this week. Uh, so we have, you know, this seven of cups energy, which can also be... A uh, very illusionary, dreamy type of energy. Uh, for some areas, you could find yourself dreaming a lot or even fantasizing a lot about your, you know, your hopes, your dreams, your desires. Um, but I definitely say, see many of you having a lot of a lot of options, um, and maybe you have one really solid uh, offer or option uh, that's available to you, and you really need to maybe take a second look at it or think about it, um, which I definitely think that for some of you, you are. We do have the Four of Swords here, which can represent for some of you, you spending some time alone. You could be going within, you could be contemplating maybe an offer that has come through for you. The Four of Swords can represent you spending time alone, but also this is you recharging your batteries. Uh, you could be recovering in some way. You know, you might have a cold or something like that. Um, but also, you know, the Four of Swords is a healing energy, and I do have a progression here. We have the Four of Swords, but then I also have the Three of Swords. So if you were in Aries that maybe experienced some sort of, you know, loss, heartache, or, you know, experienced some sort of difficult situation, you could be coming out of that now. You could be healing from this this loss with the three of swords progressing to the four this is very much a healing energy um, there could have been some Aries that maybe recently you could have gotten out of a relationship this could definitely uh, represent for some of you a relationship that came to an end uh, and now maybe you're single and you're literally walking down a new path 
with the fool here because this is you walking out on a, on a new path. It does require you to take some sort of risk or leap of faith. So for some of you, you could be newly single and you're walking down a new path in life. And yes, you have to take a, a leap of faith, but I do think that this is really exciting. And for many of you that are walking down a new path, I think this is something that you, you very much want. Um, here. This is something that for some of you with the Seven of Cups, this has been a big dream of yours. This is something that you're desiring greatly. Um, so you're walking down this new path. Uh, for some of you, you might have been waiting on this with the Four of Swords and the Fool here and that Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this is a, this is a new beginning that maybe you've been waiting on. You could have possibly been waiting on communication uh, in regards to this, this new beginning. Uh, this communication, you know, really allows you to move forward. Um, and for some of you, this is in regards to a job. For others, you know, this is maybe in regards to assets um, or even maybe property because we have the Page of Pentacles here. So uh, for some of you, you're maybe waiting on an offer to sell your house so you can buy another house or you're waiting on an offer uh, for a new job or, or something like that. Um, but it's coming. It's coming. You're about to walk down a new path, uh, Aries. Now, because we have the Hierophant here, which can represent um, the company that you work for or even, you know, the government. Uh, this can also represent something legal. It can represent a marriage. Um, but also the Hierophant represents faith. So for many of you, if you are still waiting on something or even healing, you need to keep the faith. Um, you are ending... A difficult cycle within your life with the ten of swords you're you're ending this cycle this is coming to an end tens represent completion so this is a difficult cycle within your life that's ending and literally for many of you you're on the verge of walking down a new path um, so this is really positive so I see you healing I see you closing the door in a difficult time within your life now for some of you, you could be waiting on that news or that uh, communication, maybe from the company that you work for. Also, this could be something legal. This could be something uh, to do with a marriage or even the government. So for some of you, you're waiting on this, this news or this, this offer. Um, but it's going, it's going to come in, and when it comes in, it's going to come in very quickly. I have the Six of Pentacles underneath the Ten of Swords, which is a very generous energy. It represents either giving or receiving. I think that for many of you, it's representing you receiving that communication with the Knight of Swords here. This is going to be communication that comes in quite suddenly or very, very quickly. Um, and when it comes in, there could be actually a lot that you know, starts to take place. Uh, the Knight of Swords can even be like a chaotic, sort of confusing energy. So I think that when, you know, this news comes in, for some of you, it could be coming in quite quickly. And, you know, it really allows for things to pro progress forward. Um, and I do see, some, you know, some of you very much waiting uh, with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can sometimes come up when the energy is at rest. So I think that for some of you, you've been waiting on something for quite some time. And when you've been waiting on something for quite some time, you get used to that energy sometimes. But with the Knight of Swords, uh, I see many of you... Um, experiencing a shift in energies so it's either coming in this week for some of you and then for others you know it, it's going to come in it's just a matter of time you need to have faith you need to remain positive uh, I see many of you just about ready to walk down a new path um, and you're healing this is you healing and I see many of you dreaming about your future so this is very good um, you know there's nothing wrong with that uh, it's a it's definitely a good week to plan things out think about your future dream you know uh, make some plans I definitely see some of you spending some time alone uh, and you certainly could be doing that um, for some Aries there could be an earth sign person that's quite significant uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there could be an earth sign energy that's quite significant and then for some other Aries there certainly could be an Aquarius Gemini or a Libra that's quite significant. Um, and for some of you, you know, this could be the person that you're receiving the news from. For some of you, you could be communicating with an earth sign. You could be communicating with an ear sign person. 
Um, but overall, I don't see it being a bad week whatsoever. I see many of you healing. Yes, you know, some of you could possibly still be waiting on something. Um, but you need to remain positive. You need to keep the faith. Um, this is this isn't a bad spread whatsoever. I see you coming out of you know this difficult time, Aries. Very much so. Uh, financially, I think it's going to be a good week. You have the Six of Pentacles here. You have the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, there certainly could be an opportunity to maybe make more money. Um, and emotionally, I don't see it being a bad week whatsoever as well. Um, you know, just some of you could certainly be dreaming a lot this week or fantasizing. But let's see. Additional guidance for Aries. What else does Aries need to know? Please show me. Now, for a very, very, very small number of Aries, there could have been a situation dealing with three people. If that's the case, I see you moving in another direction. No matter how you relate to that, I see you healing and I see you moving in another direction. You know, and quite possibly for some of you, that could be what you're waiting on is to completely be able to maybe close the door or slam the door shut on maybe that difficult situation. Pulled you two cards, Aries. So, Aries, I think it's very important that I mention that I'm actually filming this weekly forecast on Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving can be more of an emotional time, and you know we can miss those those you know loved ones that are no longer with us anymore. And I wanted to mention that because I pulled Sonia, and I actually don't pull Sonia too often. And she says, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, I'm at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So for some Aries, you know, this could have been a person that you lost recently. Or this could be someone coming through that, you know, has been gone for many years. But maybe you've been thinking about them a lot recently. Um, it is Thanksgiving uh, so we we tend to think about those those um, those family members or those loved ones that are no longer with us, and I think that this is very important um, for many of you watching this. This is this is definitely um, your loved one that's coming through for you. So this is beautiful, and we also have crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. This is beautiful. So you have this um, beautiful blessing that's coming in for you. You just need to keep the faith, have faith and hope. You need to remain positive because there's something beautiful that's coming in for you. And for some of you, this can certainly be a surprise. Okay? So Aries, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Take care.